Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper. This is Takedown. Hey, it's time to roll out the mats, bust open the practice room, because college wrestling is back. Over the next several weeks, we will hear from dozens of D1 coaches and athletes as they prepare for the season ahead. Our first stop, Columbus, Ohio, home of the defending Big Ten champs of Ohio State. Tom Ryan and the Buckeyes met with the media after their first official practice of the fall. I got the first official day of practice. Excited radio, get on this mat. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, we've been on the mat a few times a week, but uh, you know we finished up with preseason, so we're getting right into the season, and uh, it's exciting. Uh, just in the moment, focusing the moment, and uh, excited for the future. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, just just thinking about it, it's kind of like my last preseason. Every practice down, I'm like, that's that's one less practice. You know, it's it's kind of it's kind of weird um, thinking that this is my last year. Last year, I've been competing um, for Ohio State and uh, for this team. You know, I've been on it for five years. You know, a big part of my life. And um, you know, wrestling's always been a huge part of my life. That's going to be weird to uh, not be competing for Ohio State. So. Um, I'm just excited about how how uh, how good our team is this year. Uh, all the expectations. Obviously, it's not all about expectations. We still got to go out there and perform and just do our best in the mat. But I'm just excited, just because of our team is really, really freaking good, and that like the coaches are awesome, and it's just everyone just has a good mood and like a good like mindset about the season like going into the season no one's really like too nervous or anything so it's just that's a lot of good signs as far as how well we're going to do this year and obviously we're going to have really really good competition like Penn State, Oklahoma State, and Iowa and all those other teams so it's going to be pretty exciting I'm excited. Ready to go definitely excited I've been practicing for a while though so it kind of feels normal to come in here and work out but it's nice that the season has officially started um, very excited about the, the wrestlers we have here and our ability to compete at a high level. Yeah, it's a little bit more energy in the room. You know, the first day you guys get kicked off, let you know that competition is right around the corner now. So I'm excited to get my first one as a Buckeye. I'm you know, always looking forward to, to competing for the Buckeyes. You know, we have a really good team this year. So. It's going to be really interesting to see how it goes. Uh, I'm excited to finally start it out. Um, you know, we've been training a lot the past six weeks, but first official day of the NCAA season, so it's an exciting time, especially for me being first year as a Buckeye. Um, just excited to get in the room with the guys, about to see folks out. Noticeably absent from the Ohio State room was three-time All-American Nathan Tomasello. The redshirt senior suffered a lower body injury at the U23 trials and will be sidelined through December. Tomasello joined us on Takedown Radio last Saturday to talk about his summer and rehabbing for the season ahead. Tom Ryan has said of you that you are one of the most determined young men he's ever met. There's no doubt that he will do everything he can to return to the mat as soon as possible. Are you challenged by going, going slow in rehab? Yeah, it takes a lot of patience. Um, I think that's one of the challenging factors because I want to be back as soon as I, as I possibly can. I mean, I'm itching already to get back on the mat. I know we'll be here pretty soon, but it's just staying patient, not overdoing it. So I get back too quickly. And so, yeah, that's the biggest thing. I think dealing with uh, the shoulder injury a couple years back, a year or two back now, uh, that helped me a lot with uh, knowing what to do, what the protocol is, and just being patient throughout the process. Uh, you've been between 25 and 33 the last couple of years. Where do you project wrestling this year? 25. I'll be at 25 uh, once I return to the mats and into the postseason. I feel like it's the best weight for me. It's the best weight for the team. and um, I'm excited to finish it out at the at the first weight class to start to start the team off when we're doing dual meets. I love, love being the, the first guy to lead out the team and um, just even at the national tournament, they start usually with 25 and, uh, in the beginning of the round, I like getting our team hyped up after a big win. And, um, I'm excited to be at that lower weight. I feel like it's the best weight for me, not only domestically, but internationally, as far as 57 goes, that'll be the weight class I'll be competing at internationally. Congratulations on uh, all your success and best of luck in your in your rehab. Remember, do what the trainers are saying because I know you want to get back on the mat as quickly as possible. When are you supposed to be back, Nathan? The the latest would be the beginning of uh, January, so about a little bit less than three months. I think I'll be back earlier than that, but that's what the trainers seem to be the the most uh, the best best time to 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 be back. So. Beginning of January is what, what the timetable is right now. 
as far as uh, being 100% full, ready to compete. And uh, then I'll have a good three months, a little bit under three months to, to wrestle and then wrestle at the national championships. Stay tuned. We've got more college preseason coverage after the break. You're watching Takedown. Thanks to Yellow Blue LED. This month at Casey's General Stores, try out our limited time only Philly cheesesteak pizza. And don't forget about our monthly pizza special. Two large single topping pizzas for just $20. Casey's, famous for pizza. I'm Don Beneveni, Beneveni Chevrolet and Granger. We recently made the switch to uh, LED lighting. Uh, we purchased it from uh, Yellow Blue. Uh, we've had a very good experience. The lighting has saved us approximately $1,000 a month. I made the switch to Yellow Blue LED lighting, and you should too. All right, welcome back to Takedown. Our college preseason coverage continues with the defending MAC champions of Mizzou. Brian Smith and the Tigers recently spent several days training with the U.S. Marine Corps and learned an important lesson about teamwork. Let's take a look. Come on, Warriors! Come on. I met, met up with the Marines when I was talking with them. I, I asked them, would you come out and train my guys for a couple days in the preseason? And they thought I was joking, and they're like, really? I said, sure. It's been tough. It's been a lot of challenging ourselves, working together um, with our teammates, building camaraderie. The Marines have some really valuable lessons to teach us. I personally was humbled. I, my dad was a Marine. I have a lot of military um, from my hometown, small Kansas town. So it's, I've always looked up to the military, especially the Marines from my standpoint. And again, what they do is just beyond fathomable of what we do. Knowing how to you know, push through some adversity and when things get tough, not to quit because you got other people relying on you. You know, so when you're talking with athletes, they've already done stuff like that. So, you know, it translates really well. We've been saying all week that the lone wolf, the lone wolf dies, the, the pack survives. It's what really makes our team strong, and it's it's been really good to, to to build that from the beginning. If there's one thing I hope they could take away is that they just become closer as a team. You know, just a few workouts in a week aren't going to make you stronger, but if they can get come closer as a team and work better together as a team and realize that they're all there to serve a greater purpose and not their own, I think we'd have accomplished something. We wanted one more. You wanted one more? Give us a one more. A one more? Give us like a sprint or like okay. call out a bunch of abs or something. Okay. Something. You want something else? Yes, all right. Sir. Okay, cool. We have it in the wrestling room. It's something that we're supposed to live by. When I do one more, I get a little bit better. When someone else does one more, they get a little bit better. If we all do one more, we're all getting a little better. And if we do that after every single workout, every single rep, it adds up. Our goal is to be national champions. We don't run off and rest until that day comes. All right, let's head west. Arizona State opened their new season outdoors. The Pac-12 champs held practice on the corner of Mill and 7th Street last Thursday and showed ASU fans what wrestling is all about. We 
to be out here on Mill Ave because every college student, of course, knows what Mill Avenue is. So it's fun to be out here and, you know, have all these people passing by with the speakers and everything going on. So it's great to have this community support that we're going to get. All right, finally, on our way to break, here's some highlights from North Carolina State's first practice of the year. You're watching Takedown, thanks to Adidas Wrestling. Stay tuned. This month at Casey's General Stores, try out our limited time only Philly cheesesteak pizza. And don't forget about our monthly pizza special. Two large single topping pizzas for just $20. Casey's, famous for pizza. Wow, 40 years. Time really flies. Don't seem like it's been that long. It seemed like only yesterday that I started out route delivering it to the stores. For over 40 years, we're really proud to keep the same quality ingredients and not change our recipe. Help us celebrate our 40th anniversary by joining into our cookies recipe contest with a chance to win a Traeger Bronson 20 smoker. You can enter it on our Facebook page or cookiesbbq.com. Thanks for 40 years, and we'll see you in another 40 years. Cookie. What's up guys, I want to tell you about a new product that I am extremely excited about. It is the Pure and Clean Sports Skin Defense. It comes in a 16 ounce spray bottle and it comes in a little bitty travel size spray bottles. I have one of these, throw it in my bag, go straight to the gym. A lot of these gyms I train at, whether it be boxing, wrestling, kickboxing, grappling, strength and conditioning, it all has bacteria floating around, they all have viruses floating around, they all have fungus floating around, and the last thing you want is to get a fungus, a virus, get sick, any kind, of, um, any kind of wounds that are gonna turn into any kind of uh, skin infections to take you off of the mat. Every single second that you spend off the mat or out of the gym is one second that you're wasting. So, Pure and Clean Sports came up with a amazing solution to give you the right amount of protection on your skin. You spray it right on your skin. Stay pure, stay clean, checking them out. Pureandcleansports.com. All right, welcome back to the show. Our preseason coverage continues in Princeton, New Jersey, home of the 52nd annual NWCA All-Star Classic. The event is scheduled for Sunday, November 5th, and will feature returning All-Americans and national champs throughout the lineup. From Takedown Radio, here's Princeton's head coach and All-Star Classic matchmaker, Chris Hayers. You guys are going to be playing host to the 2017 NWCA All-Star Classic in about 20 days. Uh, Matchups are starting to become announced. Uh, you mentioned Matthew Klodzik at 49. Do we know who his opponent will be, Coach? Uh, it'll be the kid from you and I. I think it's Thompson. Max uh, Thompson. Max Thompson. Yeah, okay. so that that should be a good match. I think Matthew might be five, and I think Thompson might be uh, four. Okay. So, and that's just the way it goes. Some, you know, coaching philosophies. Uh, I was I was sort of charged with matchmaker on this stuff, and you know some. Some guys don't like going that early coaching wise. They feel like it's, you know, maybe a little bit of a tough match that early. Or some guys had, some team had uh, matches on Saturday. So it's just funny. We want one and two, but the way it works out, uh, sometimes you don't get that. But that's uh, a, it's, I'm, I'm blessed to have Matthew in this thing. That's a really cool deal that you were able to get Mark Hall and Zahid Valencia. Oh, yeah. That's a good I, as one, soon right? as I saw that, I was like, oh, I can't wait. I was thrilled. <laughs> 
I saw I the match. At, I saw the match at twenty five and thirty three and ninety seven. Are there have there other, been others announced? Are those yeah, what we so got? So far? I, you know what? I was just going to tell you about sixty five. Well, we know Chad Walsh. He's been announced, but then uh, I don't know if it's been announced yet. I, I can't say anything, but. <gasps> I'll just tell you, 165 might be one of the funnest matches because you know Chad Walsh, all American from Ryan. Right, you bet. I mean, I mean he he does he doesn't care. He's throwing headlocks, Peterson. Well, he's going <laughs> to tell me. He's going to tell us later. It's going to be Chandler Rogers, and it's just going to be a high. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You'll have to think about it. <laughs> I've interviewed. Some, Go ahead. I think there's just exciting matchups. I mean, maybe it's not one and two, uh, but boy, it, when it's not one and two, like 65, I think is uh, pretty going to be pretty exciting um i think that the matchups worked out well where the wrestling is going to be exciting for me as matchmaker i i it was it was definitely you have a protocol you have to go through but i sometimes i got a little excited when when i got to go to the next guy just because maybe he's a little bit more flashy a little bit more exciting and and so some of those worked out to our favor i think even if it's not the one and two guy is this going to be televised this year a nice job on the matchmaking so far i I can't wait to see the rest of them yeah, cool. Yeah, so uh, it will be televised. Um, it, it'll be online on track, and then it's going to be tape delayed on uh, Fox on, College Sports. Uh, yes, and this is a great opportunity. About seventy five hundred to eighty five hundred seats. Is that about right? Well, so the, how we're going to set it up is it's actually going to be about fifty one hundred. We have. Um, it's funny if you you have to see Jadwin, but you, you you can't tell when you're in it. But all these bleachers can be moved around and situated in such a way that. Uh, you know, whatever way you want it. And we think the way we're going to set up the gym at 5,100 is the best for the fans in, in sort of viewing. Now, if, if it gets a – we have about 1,000 tickets out the door right now, which is pretty typical. I mean, it is. Uh, it's, sti- it's still early. Wrestling fans tend to get to things a little late, from my experience. <laughs> um, so I think we'll hit that 5,100 mark. If we hit it early, we could add more seats, but I don't think we're going to do that right now. South Dakota State Seth Gross will be in action at the Classic, and he'll join us live after the short timeout. You're watching Takedown, thanks to Defense Soap. The war raged for generations. No amount of bravery and conviction could end the infected, unyielding rage. And with every battle, the evil grew, changed, evolved. The warriors needed nothing short of a miracle to stop the infection, and a miracle they received. Your body is at war against skin infections and diseases each time you step onto the mat. Protect yourself against the invasion. Defend so, defend what you have built. All right, welcome back. As promised, we're joined now by the first and only Division I finalist in South Dakota State history. He's a two-time All-American and will make his 2017 debut at the All-Star Classic in New Jersey. Live from Brookings, South Dakota, we welcome Seth Gross. Seth, welcome back. How are you? I'm doing great, doing great. Fired up for the season to start. Well, the season will get kicked off with you in particular, along with uh, about uh, 19 other guys. And it will be at the 52nd annual NWCA All-Star Classic. You are the second Jackrabbit wrestler in history to compete in the event. It was two years ago in Atlanta, Georgia, where Cody Pack at 57 competed in that event. Uh, needless to say, did not get the... Uh, outcome he was looking for but man it was an exciting bout went into overtime but uh 
Let's talk about how you were, uh, were invited. How did you learn that you had this, uh, uh, this opportunity to be in the All-Star Classic? Uh, my coach just, uh, I think they got a hold of Coach Bono, and uh, he, got, he got, got in touch with me and told them that they want me to wrestle, wrestle at the All-Star Classic. And, you know, growing up, it's been one of those things that I've always watched and always been a dream to compete there. So as soon as I heard that I had the opportunity, I was all over it and would wrestle anybody. So I told them, yeah, whoever, whoever you guys want me to wrestle, I'll wrestle. And the guy that you are wrestling is Steven Misik. Uh, talk to us about Steven. Have you ever wrestled him before? I haven't. I, I've never wrestled him before. I've seen a couple of his matches here or there, but yeah, not not too familiar with him. Watched a little bit of film, but. So is in preparation, you do watch some film on your opponent, find out strengths and weaknesses as well. He's known to be dangerous from all positions and. My response to that is that so are you. What are your thoughts on this matchup? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, think, I mean, it's an awesome matchup. Great way to start the year. Kind of make sure I'm in tip-top shape, ready to go right off the gates. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a fun matchup. I think uh, he's good He's good in all areas, like you said. But I, I think I, I'm a little better. So, I mean, I think that wrestling anybody. And uh, just excited for the opportunities. A guy I didn't get to wrestle at all last year. And uh, he lost to uh, two guys. Uh, one guy I hadn't wrestled before, so so don't really have too many common opponents. But uh, yeah, so just exciting. Uh, just uh, yeah, I'm glad to wrestle in this event and get the opportunity to wrestle good competition in it. You're gonna be able to watch it, of course, on TrackWrestling.com. Let's talk about last year's season a little more in depth. What are your takeaways from last year's? Um, my takeaway is uh, probably. I mean, I got work to do. Came short, fell a little short of my goal, which. Uh, you know, it really just gave me motivation going to this summer and training anything. But I think biggest thing for me is uh, wrestling hard for seven minutes and not letting guys slow me down. In the finals last year, uh, he was able to slow me down a little bit on my feet, couldn't get to my stuff like I wanted to. And then he was able to ride me for a little bit at the end of the match, and that kind of cost me the match. And uh, my one other loss that year is also a match where I got ridden for a while. And, uh, you know, so if I, I, if I stay to my stuff, don't let guys slow me down and uh, get away every time, I think uh, – I'll do real good this season. So, you know, what are your thoughts about the rest of the guys in the weight class, or do you care? Um, you know, it's I'm gonna wrestle the same way no matter who I'm wrestling. I wrestle to go, wrestle hard, pay, score as many points as I can. So, I mean, it doesn't matter who who I'm wrestling or who's on the other side of that line. I'm gonna wrestle the same. Um, but with that being said, you know, I'm familiar with a lot of the top guys. I wrestled almost all of them last year, so. I'm familiar with what they like to do and uh, different things that I need to do to win those matchups. Looking at your schedule, is there a duel that you have circled that you're extra excited about? Yeah, the first one, uh, November 17th here at Frost. I'm pretty pumped up for that one. We wrestle uh, Minnesota. And uh, last year, I don't know, so most of you get, some people might know how that duel went. Uh, we ended up, we were winning by uh, five points, and then our heavyweight ended up getting... Uh, stalled out with about two seconds left in the match and we ended up losing the duel, duel by a point so now they're coming into our arena and uh you know we want to get that win and i got a big matchup and there's a lot of big matchups going going on so really fired up for that one and uh you know want to get that win for the fans how is your weight this year at 33 some guys you know between their sophomore and junior years are growing a little bit um uh, where are you at on weight, and uh, is it more difficult this year than it was last year? Uh, it's about about the same. You know, as long as you're staying disciplined on your nutri nutrition and stuff, you shouldn't, shouldn't, weight shouldn't be a problem or affect your training or wrestling. And it was a little heavy a few weeks ago, but really really getting it down now. I just got done with certifications, and, uh, yeah, weight's good. Never more than probably nine over, so that's about where I'm at right now. So. Two of my favorite people in the whole wide world, Chris Bono and John Reeder. Well, and their wives, <laughs> okay, <laughs> the families, okay. Um, I don't know what it's like to be coached by them, but I've watched them coach. Is it uh, is it extra important for you to perform well for them, given what they put into you guys? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they they do everything for us. They they, I mean, really do anything in the world for anybody on the team, and they just really want to see us grow as people and wrestlers. So, uh, you know, we just kind of want to give that back to them and. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm real close with both of them, awesome people, and uh, Reader's kind of the positive guy, keeping you encouraged and stuff, and Bone's kind of the one that's got to be tough on you, and 
uh, kind of do that tough love stuff. But yeah, they're awesome. And, uh, you know, every time when I see them in my corner, it kind of pushes me and, uh, yeah, it makes me want to wrestle hard and do well. I'm Scott Casper. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Seth. Yep, no problem. All right, thanks to our friends at the athletic departments at Ohio State, Arizona State, and Missouri for providing practice coverage that appeared on the show today. And a big shout out to Chris Ayers and Seth Gross. Well done, guys. We're out of time for today, but you can find more wrestling news, interviews, and weekly prizes anytime at TakedownWrestle.com. From our studios in Des Moines, Iowa, I'm Scott Casper. Have a good week, and we'll see you next time right here on Takedown.